let's just try to do it on the body just to see if it works if it works here automatic mapping wow it's really fast <laughs> And these small pieces, this could be something you could maybe try and. Uh, mm, is it because of them? Ah, okay. I was picking the wrong one, apparently. Mm, that sucked a bit, but uh, you can see how fast you can actually make something. Uh, really nice so that's about it this uh, object is already UV mapped if we look at uh, this one again let's just see if I can get it to work this time with my new acquired knowledge ah, come on so I select the edge and uh, apparently if I go down here ah it works happily unhappy it says uh, subdivisions ah, okay so I don't know what this is actually but when I use this it doesn't work if I go down here and use it it works so let me just see if I can maybe make something happen because So what I'm going to do is, hmm, okay, I'm going to move and shoot this, and you can see it gets a funny edge. I'm gonna fix that later, but uh, right now I just want to get kind of the whole piece that I want to UV map. Um, so I'm just gonna do this again. Move and shoot, perfect. down here as well mm. I should really have isolated this object <laughs> okay you can see uh, that I'm a real professional I don't want that, that's a bit too much. How the fuck? Ah, come on. There we go. Ah. I'm not sure what's happening right here, but I'm just trying to fix it. Yeah, there we go. So G it doesn't work. Okay. Ah did something stupid. <laughs> anyway, it's just me sitting here fiddling around it. I hope you get the point. Um let me just show you what I meant with the this stuff. I'm gonna cut it right here just to get only the front and then I'm gonna make a planner map of it so now if I go to UV control to shelf I'm gonna get this part and I can move it to the side and um, I'm gonna go control right click to face so now I select the whole uh, front of my object totally awesome and then I'm gonna go to planner mapping Oops, planner mapping option box, and I'm gonna use the C axis. So, ah, okay, let's try again. You planner mapping keep image width and height radio. Ta da! This is what I want. And uh, I'm actually gonna try to unfold this a bit. 
you can see when you're working with this you really want to be quickly because you don't want to spend too much time on this stuff it can be a bit of a hell but right now you can see I got the bit of an edge so when I smooth it with my UVs and stuff it won't look uh, crappy my eyes are acting very strange sometimes I don't get some of the ways they <laughs> some of the ways this UV mapping works it's very uh, unintuitive is there even a word, call word called that? anyway this is coming uh, together in a nice way move on to so you can basically do this for all you have to do this for all the objects for all the bicycle objects um, now I'm just quickly going to show you how to uh, UV map this tire and if you go to the UV uh, create UVs you can select cylinder mapping there's no real settings so you just click apply and uh, here it can be a bit tricky so if you press T you get this uh, options or interface um, and you can see the scale and there's a rotation thingy here so if you press it you can rotate it and my mine doesn't fit right now so I'm just gonna rotate it um, so it fits the wheel and you can see <laughs> And if you hold J down, you can uh, rotate it in an uh, uh, interval of degrees. So I'm going to go back to the original interface by pressing this little T, because now it fits. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking this width thing and pulling it down, which makes it fit all around the wheel. If you want it, you can do like this. Yeah, let's see how it looks. It doesn't look bad. So, right now you can see this is much more wide than the original tire, so it should be more like this. But you can't really know sh uh, for sure. So, that's why we use a checker map when we UV map. Let me just check how long I spent. Okay, 18 minutes. I can see that I need to wrap this up. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna show you the checker map. I'm gonna make a Lambert. Assign some material. Oops, let me get rid of this. Color. Checker. Um, and we need some more repetitions. And I'm just gonna go to high quality so you can see the squares a bit better. And you can see right now, they're not really. Uh, you want them to be total re rectangles, I think it's called. And you can see right now they're very stretched, so your texture will also be stretched, and that's a bad thing. If you just, I can just show you if I apply it on this front, you can see all the squares have the same radio in height and width and that's what we want on this tire as well so with the tire selected I'm just gonna try to unfold it and wow my my is slow so you can see it's basically not getting better <laughs> 